The consolidation in the skies continues with the merger of American Airlines and US Airways Group. That will create the world's biggest airline in terms of passenger traffic and with a combined equity value of eight and a quarter billion euros. US Airways Chief Executive Doug Parker says... You know, sometimes the, all the planets need to align and it's taken a while for us to get here, but fortunately we've come to agreement that this makes sense uh, for all of our customers, for all of our employees, for our investors, uh, and we couldn't be happier. The two airlines together had turnover of 29 billion euros last year. Their combined fleet is 1,500 planes, serving 336 destinations in 56 countries with 100,000 employees. The boss of FairCompare.com, Rick Sini, says the deal may make economic sense, but passengers won't get much out of it. In airline mergers, uh, the people that benefit the most are Wall Street, to be honest. Consumers end up paying more for airline tickets in general. They have less convenience because typically during mergers, there's cutbacks in flights uh, and schedule. This is the fourth major merger in the US airline industry in less than five years and it means the survivors will be able to put up fares as yet another competitor is eliminated. The companies say that they expect annual savings of 750 million euros in 2015.